Hello and welcome to day number 20 of 30 GIMP tutorials. Today, you're going to perform some magic and transform an image from a regular size into a teeny miniature photo. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what that means. Well, you're going to have to watch to discover this extraordinary editing technique. Before I show you this editing technique, you first need to know what type of image is going to achieve this tilt shift miniature effect. And that is an image where your point of view is higher than the contents or the subjects in your image. So in this case, we have a bunch of buildings and the point of view is above the rooftops. So this allows us to view down into the town and this is the type of image that will allow you to create the tilt shift miniature effect. If this image was taken on street level, then you would not be able to recreate the miniature effect. So make sure you have the right type of image before you start editing. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate this layer to work non-destructively. And then we're going to come up to filters, blur, Gaussian blur to add a blur to the image. We're going to increase the X, Y sliders here to our own personal preferences, and it's going to depend on the image as well. For this image, I'm going to set it to around 20, and then I'm going to click OK. Now we need to remove part of this blurring effect on the top portion of the image. So let's come over here and click here, and we're going to add a white layer mask. Now we want to make sure we have a black set to the foreground color here because black removes white adds. And we're going to remove it with our gradient tool, which is inside of the bucket fill tool category right here. So you can grab it from here or use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter G. In the tool options, you want to make sure you have the correct gradient selected. So click here and make sure you have FG to BG RGB selected with black to white. If it's the opposite, come over here and click on this icon to reverse the gradient. You also want to make sure you have linear selected for the type of shape. So to remove this blur from the top down to right about here, we're going to hold down our control key first, which is going to lock our gradient tool in place. So we have a perfect perpendicular shape to our gradient. So I'm going to click right about here and then drag my mouse down to right about there, maybe a little bit higher. So right about there, once you release, you'll get these two crosshairs and then you can make adjustments if needed. Just make sure you have your control key set so you can keep this perpendicular. So I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter or return to apply that adjustment to our layer mask. Now we need to do the blurring on the opposite side or the background, I should say. So let's go ahead and duplicate this layer here with the gradient tool selected again. I'm going to click right about here, just above halfway point and drag up towards the horizon. So maybe right about there and then enter or return. And we end up with our miniature effect. How cool is that? Now that you know that editing technique, check out that playlist to your left to learn more about editing, retouching, and styling your images in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.